the next exercise in activity five is the stroke palette on page 57. We're going to learn about the stroke palette in Adobe Illustrator. We saved the last assignment as fill.ai, so leave that open or reopen it and it should be on your screen. So we have fill. Click on the stroke box in the toolbar. So right here. The stroke box is found in the lower right corner of the toolbar and it's at an angle to the fill box which is right here. So if the stroke box is in front you can change the color of the stroke. If the fill box is in front you change the color of the fill. And you can switch back and forth by pressing X. So we got the stroke box in front here. Select one of these objects so hold down command and click one of your shapes and go to the menu bar and choose window stroke window stroke and it opens up the stroke panel. I'm going to change the stroke weight to 10 and the shape that I clicked on the stroke weight was changed. I'm going to uh, select all the shapes so I'm going to hold down command and I'm going to click on them all and I'm just going to type weight 10. Now they all are changed. Now you notice up here you can also change them in the options bar up here as well. If you want to individually change the color I can click on this and change the stroke color right there or I can go to the color palette or swatches. Now before we finish I want to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the stroke panel. The stroke panel has many attributes to change the way a stroke around the object here. Attributes are properties that change appearances, such as stroke weight without changing underlying structure. The stroke panel has four sets of options. Cap options, join options, stroke offset options, and dash options. Select a cap option to control the appearance of path endings. The default setting is butt cap, but where the pass endpoint anchor sits at the end of the path, you can also choose round cap for a rounded end to the stroke, or projecting cap where the stroke extends past the path endpoint. You can also choose a look for the point for which the path joins. The default setting is a miter join, which causes intersecting paths to miter in the point. Other options include round join and bevel join. So you can see as I click on them how they change. Stroke offset options are in the align stroke section and they allow you to control where the stroke sits in relation to the object's path. Center, outside, and inside. You can also create a custom dash line in the stroke panel by specifying links for dashes and links for gaps between dashes. So if I click there, I can set that to 4. And I can increase the gap by 10. It does it by points. 10 gaps and the dashes are 4. Now I could change that to 20 and see what happens. The dashes are, are longer. Now you can go ahead and add arrowheads to it at the starting point and the end point. So now we've played around with this a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and save and we will save this as fill and stroke. Fill and stroke. And save it in your period last name illustrator folder. Save. Okay. And that is the stroke palette. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.